Hi guys, Wismar here. Today I wanted to showcase an automatic rotating welder wall that many people use. Before we start, I just wanted to share some plugins you should have while using printers in general. The first plugin I recommend is Projector Highlighter. This will highlight any unfinished or damaged blocks on your build. The second plugin will be Projections to Assembler. This will help make sure you have all the necessary components before producing a ship. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the setup. If you want a blueprint of this design to look at, I'll have a workshop link in the description to go subscribe to. All right, looking at this from the top, we have three main components. We have our base, we have our welder wall, and we have our tugboat. Let's go ahead and start with the base. So this isn't really anything fancy. It's just some cargo containers, a source of hydrogen, and a power source. And then over here, we have our station for projector to assembler. And this is something that you should incorporate into all of your builds if you want to be very precise with your resources. Let's go ahead and show how it works. So I have this projector next to me loaded up with a blueprint. I'm going to turn the projector on. So there is our projection. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real fast. This is just a workshop ship that I found. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's go back. All right, now if we go to our control panel, we look at our projector. I named this one send to assembler. We can go down and click send to assembler. This will send all of the required components to the assembler to be produced. Right now it's not producing anything because we're in creative mode, but in survival, this will create all the components you need. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the welder wall now. It's nothing too complicated. We just have some welders in series here in a line, so that way we can make a rotating printer. And then we connected it to a rotor, an advanced rotor, so that way cargo can pass through it. And then we have our control seat here. And then we have a couple timer blocks and a piston. Now, if you look at the side here, you'll see that there's two glass layers or window layers. And this will push out one block every once in a while to push a projection back so that way it can print the next layer. All right, let's go ahead and explain how the tugboat works now. The tugboat is very simple. It's just a bunch of thrusters with some batteries and a gyroscope. And we also have a projector in there. All right, let me go ahead and show you how this works now. So if we bring our tugboat around, what we do is we line up our tugboat against the glass and luckily we have a magnet for that at the front of our little tugboat here so we're going to go ahead and just press that up against the glass till we're lined up all right boom we're lined up now all we have to do is turn that off back up a little bit And now we're gonna turn on our projector. So this is the projection that we want to make. This could be any projection for you. If you want to make a big ship or something else, all you have to do is make sure that it's connected to the tugboat in some way so it can start the print. And once you have that, you're ready to go. As you can see right here, these little green lines, this is my highlighting tool through plugin loader. This basically just tells me, hey, these blocks aren't complete yet. Uh, this will be more handy when you're actually building a ship and you're not sure which ones aren't done yet versus which ones are. But for now, uh, this is just basically starting the front of our uh, projection here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way forward again. We're going to make sure that we get all the way up against the glass here. And our projection started. All right, cool. So now we're going to actually start this. We're going to start the actual printer now. So we're gonna to go to our control seat here. We're gonna make sure our welders are turned on, which they are. Now we can turn off our rotor. And then all we have to do is turn on our timer blocks. Get that going. And now what will happen is the wall will push back our blocks every few seconds to create the new layer. So conceptually, this is how it works. But in game, you're going to have to tinker a little bit with the settings to make sure it, it suits your build. You may need more time for the welders to weld up the entire layer if it's a big ship. 
or you may need less time. So you see how that works there? We just produced another layer and the window is pretty much just pushing the tugboat back a little bit and then it's producing the next layer. So it's gonna extend out and then it's gonna come back. And it'll keep doing that uh, until the entire projection is done and then our ship will be back a little ways. But this doesn't require a lot of actual effort to keep going. All you have to do is make some minor adjustments every now and then. Occasionally your tugboat will be off center and your projection may uh, be a little hindered by that. But overall, this is just a very basic concept of, you know, auto printing. So you can go, you know, be AFK, go to the kitchen and grab a snack or something while you're printing out a ship or something like that. But regardless, that's how that works. Now let me go ahead and show you guys some settings. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this real fast. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the rotor lock here too. I'll just pause it for the time being. When you're not using it, it's nice to just turn it off. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our settings here. So the two big settings here is our timer blocks. So for timer block one, which is our start timer block, all this really does is it creates an initial delay. And then if we look at the actions here, it's going to change the direction of the piston. So that way we can push out our outside wall and push our projection back. And then if we look at our second timer block here, all it does is the same exact thing, except this time, the piston is going to be coming the opposite direction and it's going to suck that wall back in and allow our welders to actually weld. And then it just starts the loop back again. It tells the first timer block, hey, you can go ahead and start again. All right, so that's our loop right there with our two timer blocks and that pretty much controls the piston. And then if we look at the piston here, the only settings that actually matter is the velocity you're going to want normally a fairly low velocity just so that way it's more stable. And then your maximum distance. I set mine to 2.7 meters. This is just a little bit more than one block long. So that way we're pushing the projection back just enough to print the next layer. And then our minimum distance I set to 0.1 meters. This is going to leave a tiny gap between the two window walls and everything else can pretty much stay the same. If you feel like messing with some of these settings, it may help you a little bit, but overall, this is the core concept right here. And then lastly, let's go ahead and talk about our rotor. The two settings that matter with the rotor is our rotor lock. Rotor lock can stay on when you're not in use. And then our second setting is our velocity. Depending on how big of a ship you're making, you may need a higher velocity so you can do more passes on a layer. Or if you're doing a smaller ship, you may want it smaller. All right, besides that, that's the core concept of this design, guys. I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, please feel free to like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And if you want this blueprint, again, like I said, it's in the description if you want to take a look at it yourself. But besides that, guys, that's an automatic printer for you. And the concept is pretty much the same for every other design uh, that is similar to this. All right, guys, have a good one.